James was the leader of the church in Jerusalem during the middle of the first century. He was also known as the half-brother of Jesus and the author of the Epistle of James. According to both the first century New Testament writings and the second century church, James was named an apostle and a bishop. And along the way, he got the title James the Just. But as the saying goes, things were not always thus. And as it turns out, James the Just started as James the Skeptical. According to the Gospels of John and Mark, James initially did not believe in Jesus' claim to being the Son of God. In fact, he even thought he may have been crazy. That is, until James interacted with Jesus after the resurrection. And then, well, everything changed. By about 44 AD, James was recognized as the leader of the church here in Jerusalem. James the Just has been considered the author of the Epistle of James since the early Christian era. Nobody knows the exact date when he wrote the biblical letter, but a time soon after this Jerusalem council in about 48 AD seems most likely. This makes it one of the oldest books in the New Testament. The epistle or letter of James was written primarily to followers of Jesus from among diaspora Jews scattered around the Mediterranean. James was a very practical book focusing primarily on patience, endurance, and testing, finding joy in trials, applying the scriptures to everyday life, love, advice on conflicts and quarrels, avoiding friendship with the world, prayers for the sick, and demonstrating genuine faith in action. In short, James issues a challenge to the followers of Jesus to not just talk the talk, but walk the walk. While it's important to read our Bibles and to understand the teachings of Jesus, it's important to act on what Jesus taught. It's like granddad always used to say, make sure your words speak louder than your actions. And actually, reverse that, and then you got it. What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds? Can such faith save them? Suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food. If one of you says to them, go in peace, keep warm and well fed, but does nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? In the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. James 2, 14 through 17. There are a number of New Testament references to James, the half-brother of Jesus, the leader of the Jerusalem church. There are also two important historical references to James outside the Bible from the first and second century AD, Josephus and Hegesippus, who both recorded the death of James by martyrdom. The Roman historian Josephus, writing in the late first century, placed the time of the killing of James in 62 AD. This account states that James was stoned in Jerusalem for allegedly breaking the Mosaic law. The church historian Hegesippus, writing in the second century, records that James was preaching that Jesus was the Messiah during Passover. The religious leaders of Judaism in Jerusalem, instigated by Ananias the high priest, got angry and threw him from the top of the temple. Apparently, he was still alive after the fall, so they beat him with clubs and stoned him, even while he continued to pray. In the eyes of the religious leaders, James was a life wasted, promoting the teachings of a failed Messiah. But in reality, his courageous, decisive leadership in the Jerusalem church and at the Jerusalem council would be a legacy that would live on forever.